What is up guys, and the Gamer Retro here, and welcome back to Willow for the Nintendo. Finish the Matanda Caves, that led me here to the like chief area, where I talked to Shalindria, the fairy queen, I guess she is, is or she's like the protector of the Lake Chief area. And gave me the magic cane, which is the her wand from the movie. I will need that later on. It does an attack thing, but it's crap right now. It's kind of sort of based on level. You have the Devil Eye. Oh. And the Light of Life. Which this is a really nice sword. <coughs> you know, 59-109. Oh, it's a little slow. But what the game doesn't tell you is that it's effective against undead enemies, like the zombie-looking enemies that I think I may have come across one or two. Uh, there's like a mage enemy that shows up every so often, and then they have... these other, like, slime-looking type enemies, and like, I think one or two other enemies. And this is the only weapon that can kill them, otherwise you'll have to use magic. But yeah, from 59 to 109. Like, holy carp. Hello. My name is Mad Mardigan. It's Val Kilmer. I'm a warrior of the Daikini clan. Please release me. There is a key to the handcuffs hidden in the forest. Please go find it. Oh my god. enough, I don't care. Eh, no. Oh my god. God, you big dumb bully. so fucking mean. That. That would be the mage enemy. You want to be killed by magic? Or, oh. Oh, these two. God damn it. Oh, and they drop magic. I forgot. There it is. I thought it was like in the middle for some reason. 
you have the key. It is old and quite rusty. So is your face. Gives it 80. That's actually not too bad. Ow. Oh, fantastic. I'm in your debt. Here. Take my necklace. Just my way of saying thanks. You have the necklace. Which does absolutely nothing. It's just progression. It's made of core poor quality glass. I'm gonna say core quality. Hey, Matt Martigan. Remember it. So long. Okay, bye bye I think a lot of this was just like an absolute nothing. Absolute nothing. God damn it. This is an oasis for all brave adventurers. This is the Tavern of the Traveler. Please relax and take it easy. I haven't seen you around here before. Are you planning on going to the cave over there? According to rumor, there's a ghost that protects a treasure and kills anyone that goes near it. It is said that her lover went on a dangerous journey to find a treasure for her and then mysteriously disappeared the night he returned. Oh, so she guards it forever, waiting for his return? What a tragic story. Hey, Willow. Thanks for helping me out of that jam. There I was, minding my own business when, all of a sudden, Sorsha came charging up and took me prisoner. Anyway, thanks. You know, you can't go any further without crossing the lake. Well, the only way you can do that is if you have a huaca seed in your mouth so you can breathe water. Ha. Huh. Of course, the only ones who have huaca seeds are the mythical creatures of the Nail Clan. Supposedly to be white, small, sort of like a rabbit with antlers? I've never seen one. Probably just a legend. Oh, you silly mad mortigan. They're not rabbits with antlers. That's a jackalope. There are two red towers standing side by side on the other side of the lake. But Morta has closed the road that leads to the towers so no one can go near them. 
There must be some kind of secret there. I'm sure Bev Morda is afraid of it. Yeah, she's just an all-around bitch. Okay, I'm going the wrong goddamn direction. Now that I have this place, if I summon Poe with the Ocarina, this will be one of the locations that'll show up. Oh my god. for my next level? Like, 22,000. Holy shit. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. See if I go down here. I think I start taking damage. Or do I just die? Yeah, it's like I just start taking damage. Which I guess you could... Technically, XP, but you can't hit them when they're inside their shell. Get them again real quack-like. Really, I'm gonna have to go through all this, like, spiel again. Tastes like purple. I forgot what they say. Oh god, hello. I forgot what they say if you come here before saving him. Okay, I know, across from the lake. You can do that if you have a Hwaka seed. Which is bullshit that was added for the game that was never in the movie. This place was never in the movie. The Nail Clan was never in the movie. And Mardigan was, Sorsha, Bab Morda, Finn Rizal. Pole wasn't in it. None of that extra shit was in there. I gotta find the frickin' stuff and thing. Oh, no. Yeah, I got the thing. No. Like a fucking bitch. Like a rinse and repeat because like a like a new person spawns. Things won't be dead. Holy crap.
Nope. This side. Ow. Jesus. That was the way that took me to the Tavern of the Traveler. What the hell is that stupid shit? Oh my god. So, meet again, Willow. Seed of Waka? I have it right here. You have obtained the Seed of Waka. Take care. Okay, Jesus. Willow, I'll take you anywhere you need to go. To the bar. Okay. Morgan? Oh yeah, the brave Daikini warrior, right? He mumbled something about defeating Bev Morda and left. Okay. Let me go ahead and fix that so I don't accidentally freaking summon him again. Your guitar standards are myself. Okay. Oh my god, fucking... <sighs> Trying to press down. Way down here. And then that's the 
glass necklace, which is strictly for progression purposes. And I'm on the other side. I am the messenger of Earth, Finn Rizal. You must be Willow. I'm glad you made it all this way. Now please, change me to my normal self with Shalindria's magic cane. Willow clutched the cane tightly and said the magic words. Whoops. Oh no, it's Willow. You don't have enough experience to change me back yet. And it'll actually do this like several times. Oh my god, I know who you are, bitch. You don't have to tell me every single friggin' time. And a goat. And for a stretch. And a tiger. And if you've actually seen the movie, whenever he's going through that whole transformation thing to turn her back to normal, she goes through these series of animals before she becomes human. But the reason why I can't do it in here, at least can't do it yet, because you need to be level 13 to be able to change her back to normal. Oh, motherfucker. You need to be level 13 to change her back to normal. I'm gonna skip this for a second. And oh, hello. I'm Sorsha, daughter of the great Queen Bavmorda. Have you seen a man by the name of Mad Mortigan around here? He was a suspicious man, so we caught him. But he got away somehow. Yeah, no. And here's like a set of caves and whatnot. But they are like a major pain in the ass. Because they're fucking long and windy and confusing. Ouch. Ouch. So if anything, I'm gonna go ahead and just stop right here, and then I'll probably get to, like, level... I'm almost, I'm almost 11 already. Like, maybe 12, depending on how much experience I need to get to level 12. Otherwise, I'll probably just finish out level 11. And then I'll start the underground, like, caves area. Or, like, the something. It's, like, it's a bunch of interlooping and interconnecting caves, and all this crap, there's like a thing you gotta get there, and you gotta do it in a certain order, or you fucking, like, lock yourself. So that's gonna be a big fucking pain in the ass. Let me put my sword back on. There we go. So when we come back, I will sort the underwater cave section. And then that old lady said something about those two red towers. So I guess I'll just take care of that too while I'm at it. So I'll just take care of that next time. So until then, this is Indie Gamer Retro on Willow. Later, guys.